If you are an Amazon seller using Inventory Planner, we're going to walk through the warehouse setup that may work best for your replenishment needs. First, let's go to Account, Settings, and then to Warehouses. If you sell only on Amazon and do not have a storage warehouse of your own or other warehouses, enable FBA and you're all set. If you sell only on FBA but have an additional warehouse where you store excess inventory, then you may want to set up a manual warehouse. Down at the bottom we'll create a manual warehouse, name the warehouse, and save. Now you can see we have a manual warehouse. This should be used only if you do not have sales information tied to this warehouse. The manual warehouse can be stocked by going to replenishment, click on the manual warehouse, and there you will be able to import manual warehouse stock. If you're an Amazon seller with another warehouse, whether that's a manual warehouse that simply stores excess inventory, or you're selling on another platform, to create the combined warehouse, we'll come into warehouse settings, click on create combined warehouse, name the warehouse, then think about where we have stock. So if we are selling on Amazon, we want to consider the Amazon stock. If we have a manual warehouse, we want to consider that. If you are fulfilling more than one platform or connection out of the same warehouse, then you want to be aware that you don't want to double count stock. Then think about sales. This will show the total demand for your combined warehouse. You could add additional connections here to the combined warehouse. We'll save. After you create your combined warehouse, Inventory Planner will need to sync and recalculate information. So you will see syncing at the top of your screen for a few seconds or a few minutes.